Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're looking at London Loop 2T, which by the release of this video will be the featured cup for this week's rankings. Uh, we're going to be going through the usual driver, kart glider, how to maintain a combo throughout. So we're going to be doing a non-stop combo, not losing it at any point and finishing with that combo. Uh, we're going to I'm going to show you a no ticket version as well, just to show that this can be done with no tickets. Um, we've actually got the same for Shy Guy Bazaar T, but let's do London Loop T, 2T, where we've got two supers and one high end. These are rarer supers, so hopefully you will have been fortunate enough to pull one from a pipe. Uh, don't worry too much about if you don't have any, because um, well, if you do have gems, you're going to have a good chance of pulling for Waluigi Bus Driver and Rosalina in this in these pipes so i'm currently going in with waluigi but hopefully when i pull one of them i'll probably switch it up for either dash ring or triple bananas probably would favor going in with rosalina um i suppose actually if you're going with waluigi you do get an extra percentage at level one might get two rosalinas i think you might be able to do that mm, actually probably not well, anyway, we're going to be taking a look at um, that when it comes to seeing what we get with in pipe launches. For now, I'm going in with Waluigi, double bob bombs and triple bananas. Triple bananas is probably mildly better, with dash ring being definitely a better special skill for maintaining your combo. Then we come to carts, and we have three options, one super, two high ends. The super is a great option, being that it has mini turbo plus, and is probably my favorite if it's at a you know the same level or higher you you probably want to consider using this i don't really want to invest any tickets because do i even have any no tickets i've got no tickets um but if i did i, I think i'd hold back on it because i feel like it's not going to give me that much of an advantage swift jack and london uh, the double decker which we get in the gold pass they are the, the featured high ends for this one and dash panel plus is probably better than slipstream plus being that there is I think there's one dash panel in this level so it's not like you're going to get a huge amount of points or a good increase in in from the dash tunnel dash panel boost time you know throughout the track so I'm going in with turbo birdo then it comes down to waluigi wing or wario wing and wario wing is higher for me they both have the same special skill bullet pull plus which is, is it's not going to be helpful since you want to spend most of the time up front i definitely think this is something that can be done with 10 percent combo time maybe even five percent probably uh it's not too difficult a track to do and this is a version without using my ticket so any difficult areas that might come from that i'd probably be able to compensate through using an item during a difficult part of the track so let's look at this run we start midway through this let's play at half speed so let's do this right from the start depending on your position to the you want to try and get to the right early so like turn to the right from from the release of your rocket start and then you can start drifting so turn to the right then you can turn in start drifting so you've got an angle to go along that first one and along that second one and you can hold your turbo release just at the start of this path and then take the inside lane here and you should get in front of the people uh, ignoring the frenzy it means that I can line up for those coins what we'd usually do is hold hold and then release trying to connect that jump to this jump boost then we can come off here and we'll be holding a mini turbo at this point which i would then release into these coins oh that was awful missed all of them <laughs> yeah so usually i'd have a mini turbo there to release uh, just to connect me to the coins holding a mini turbo here releasing that'll get you to this ramp in time you can actually take two coins off these ramps if you hit a good good enough angle or you can hit the barrel ramp and a coin so here we go that's where you can take two coins then coming over here hold your mini turbo don't release it you'll get to that in time with 15 percent holding 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 trying to pull up a super mini turbo it'll just give you a bit of extra time for you to start turning and then release here and that'll connect you nicely to this jump where you can set up to try and hit this middle boost so we've got a dash panel there which will be good for you if you have 
a the, the London bus. Then hold in there to connect to a release in there to connect to this jump. Again, starting to turn again just the same. Release, hold your mini turbo a little bit longer there, just because that jump boost will give you the freedom to be able to in time to do that. So, and then it's exactly the same again. Starting with from the right, start turning, getting a drift over those two jump boosts. Wait until we get to the path near the inside of the track, then release, turn to the left. So here we can see it done without frenzy this time. So turn to the right, hold in your, your drift, and then release in to connect that jump to this jump. Starting you to build your mini turbo up. You should have just get it before there, and then you can hold it halfway, release, and that that will give you enough time to to start to turn. See, I hit a better angle angle there, and I probably could have actually released my mini turbo to get that third coin. Then you start charging up turbo here. Release doesn't need to be a super mini turbo with this, the settings I'm going in with. Then after the jump burst, another drift. You really just want to connect a drift coins, diff, drift jump. A lot of this is that. Oh, there is actually two dash panels each time you go around. So London bus could be quite a good, um, a good one to, to to go in with. Hold in, release in the super mini turbo just to give you a little bit, a bit of time. We release the mini turbo there. I just feel like I felt I left it too early, which I actually did in the end, but angled it nice, got a little extra mini turbo in and fell nicely onto that dash panel. Then we're about to get hit. We get hit, but it doesn't matter because we actually pull our items at that point and then we've got enough time to recover by hitting those coins. Coming around here, just holding it, holding it, holding it, then releasing about the tree just before the post box, trying to get a mini turbo in there. And there we got it, non-stop combo. Pulling a nice score of 14,500, I was pretty happy with that. Seeing as we only got one frenzy, um, and you can see how next week from this moment, next week, so when I've released this today, um, we could have some good pipes that will help us boost some of those up. I'd like to get another Turbo Birdo, just because she's got a good skill. Um, We'll see. Uh, but hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. I think that is just kind of laying the roots of... It's not going to be... That's not going to be my final score for sure. I've got a week to, to then... I've recorded all these levels done now. So it will take me probably... I've probably spent a couple of days to to get up a higher score with some of my new... My items, I might might get drivers, might get some things that will duplicate. It's really what I'm looking for to level it up. Um, but let me know your scores down below, what setup you've been going in with. Apart from that, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have found it helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.